Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from the Real Illusion Forum. Also, uh, well, this channel, obviously. <laughs> so those of you that are subscribed or at least drop by occasionally see me. Um, as my last video showed, you can bring in Genesis 9 figures. However, I did find a got you if that uh, some of those figures have items that hide the mesh. You got problems. You can't use our routine about bringing in another Genesis 9 figure. That doesn't work. So I showed you a workaround for that. I want to show you something else that happens here. So here we have this uh, tree spirit figure, which is very unusual, obviously a very different kind of uh, figure. You'd think, can this actually be brought in? And it can, but I want to show you what happens. This is just the, the raw figure. I dropped, dropped it, dragged it over here into uh, Genesis 9. And so saved it out as the settings we always use. We're going to try to bring it in now, tree spirit. And we bring this in, and we're going to see what happens is that it's going to uh, tell you that, it, that this isn't good and uh, that it doesn't find the right things for that. See, so failure load character. This is the only thing we used to get when we tried to bring in something with a hidden mesh, and you will also get this if there are hidden mesh problems or compatibility. So what do we do about this? Well, here's what you can do. Uh, the figure itself, you'll notice first, has some things attached to it. These are the branches thing, so if you turn this off, you'll see the branches, and it's got some, uh, the booties, actually, as it turns out, these booties don't do any good, so I'm just going to delete them. They're just little things on the bottom of the feet. I don't know why we need them there, but, but anyway, they got the leaves. So first thing we need to do is take these branches and leaves, the things that are extra to this figure, and we need to unparent them. So we're going to unparent that, and we're going to unparent uh, that one. And then, because they're rigged, I, I showed you this with the boots before. These are actually figures. So we're going to go to Edit, and go to Figure, and go to Rigging, and we're going to convert that figure to a prop. Okay? So for each of those things that we unparented, we're going to prop, make them into props. And we want them to be props because they'll come in like a helmet or some other item would do. So we go over to Edit, Figure, Rigging, Convert figure to props. So now we have props there and they're not ready anymore. Okay, so all these things are good. However, if we try to save this and bring it in, it's still going to bomb on us. And why is that? Well, the problem is, I wasn't even on the beta for uh, this Transformer version. I wish I had been because I could have saved them some problems. But uh, the problem is you need more than just this to get a Transformer to recognize that this is a Genesis 9 figure. Now that's not true of the other Genesis figures, Genesis, original Genesis, and 3, and uh, and 8. Uh, those can be brought in just, just like you dumped them in here. But for a Genesis 9 figure, you've got to have some other items. One thing you have to have is the Genesis 9 eyes, which this does have, so that's okay. But it doesn't have all the other things. And what are the other things? Well, if we go here to the characters and we go to uh, back to... Um, Genesis 9, and we're going to go to Anatomy, and go to Daz Originals, and Base Anatomy. So that's, you can find that in Genesis 9, uh, Anatomy, Base Anatomy. And the other things you have to have, in addition to the eyeballs, which we see there, uh, are you have to have the eyelashes, the mouth, and the tear ducts. So we have to add all this stuff in, even if we're not going to use it. You have to put it in, just drag and drop it. We already have the eyes, so you don't, sometimes though, if you don't have eyes or something, or you want to add eyes, you can... Yeah, you can use the drag and drop that. Have to add the mouth in, whether we want it or not. This particular tree character, I guess, just talks without a mouth. And then the tear duct. So again, you have to add all those things in to that character that you're doing. And now you'll see eyes, eyelashes, mouth, and tear. It has all that stuff. And if it has all that stuff, then now it looks like a Genesis 9 figure to the Transformer. So we're going to export this again. Export it as Tree Spirit. And yes, we're going to do that and export it with all those things. And uh, so you're going to see what's going to happen. We don't need all those things when we're actually going to do it. But by exporting all those things here, now it's going to look like a Genesis 9 figure to Transformer. And uh, once we get it in, we're going to do a few more things to clean it up. And there we go, advanced. And remember now, we want to get the textures for 
the, um, the the skin of a character. Uh, you don't always need the textures if you're bringing in costumes or those things, but if because here we want it's very important to have those textures for the skin. And then branches and the leaves, those are accessories. You saw them. They might sometimes come in as cloth or something. You can change them to accessories depending upon what they actually are. In this case, they're definitely accessories. Think of them like a giant helmet on top. Okay, so now we're back. <laughs> it takes a while when you're loading in textures like that. Okay, so here we have this little tree guy. <laughs> and uh, if we go to modify him, we go to textures, we can see that we have, um, actually, I want to do a few things first. Hang on a second here. I want to, uh, these branches have some other textures. If you'll notice, the, these textures, I knew this developer, it was Joe Quick that made this character. You sometimes need to know the developer to find the textures. So if you go to runtime and textures and Joe Quick, who did this tree spirit, and notice it did bring in the base and the opacity. It didn't bring in the roughness. Unfortunately, that's part of the problem with um, Transformer is it doesn't bring in the right textures for all these things. So um, you can get them yourself, of course, but but you can't necessarily get them for the skin properly. So anyway, that's that's a whole other topic for discussion. Again, they didn't put me in for uh, <laughs> for the beta on this, or I would it would have been much better. Sorry, that's just the way it was. It would have been better. Um, so then the branches there. So that's the branches. Uh, 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 the height, I guess, is no problem. All oh, the leaves have a height too. Okay, metallic is no problem, but here's the, uh, the bump map for this. I'm going to get that stuff in, make it look a little better, and roughness. Let's get that too. Roughness, and that looks pretty good. Okay, um, and I might as well go get the, the uh, what was it? Was the, uh, oh, I got the bump map for that. Okay, all right. Oh, height. That was it. Height. Get the displacement in there. Okay, so anyway, so we have um, these items. So the first thing we want to do is take these two items and go, and we want to detach them from the uh, character. You'll see why in a second. We're going to detach. They're, by default, they, they come in attached to the hip. This is true of anything. Any accessory always comes in as attached to the hip. So every accessory you bring in, you always have to go in and make sure it's attached to the right place. Because usually hip is not where you want your accessories unless you've got a, a belt or a ray gun or something. So we'll detach those. And then with both of those selected, we're going to merge those props into one. So they're merged into one prop. And then we're going to go and we're going to now attach them. And we're going to pick the parent of this guy's head here. And there it is. And that's where it really needs to be. So um, so that's basically about it. So if you now go into content and we go to uh, animation, for example, I'll show you the uh, what it looks like if we uh, if we get him doing some uh, some motion stuff. I always like to use the uh, the walk and the bump into the object. So first, we got to make sure the whole figure is selected, and not just those branches and stuff, and then attach to that. Oh, sorry, the figure is selected and not just the props. And then we go ahead, and you can see him. And there he is. He moves around creepily enough. So that's how to get a Genesis 9 figure in that may be giving you problems otherwise. So um, hopefully. That helps. Uh, oh, I, I know I wanted to show you one more thing. So his mouth, if we go up to here, go into animation, and see, I think I've got some talking here. Uh, 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 uh. No, that's not what I wanted. It's so hard to find exactly what you want in here. I've got so many things here. Uh, animated, I think. No, that's not what I want. Actor group, perhaps. Bed. Preset, stand, uh, standing people, standing male. No, that's still not it. I have, I promise I have one here. I have got so many motions here, it's ridiculous. Uh, there we go, talk. Okay, so, so we put talk into this guy now, which is, so now he'll talk. So if you watch him talk. Hi there, I'm a digital character, created with character creator. And as you can see, I can act, talk, and have lively expressions. You can see his mouth is... to being part of your upcoming animation work. Okay, so 
and, and you probably want to expand. Remember, we um, I won't even go in to talk to you, but you can make the motions more exaggerated. For this character, I would make the mouth more cartoonish. But in any case, you might notice that this character has a very weird looking mouth. So there's the jaw. Remember, we, we had to import the mouth, and the mouth doesn't really fit this character. In reality, this character really shouldn't have a mouth. So that's very simple. We go up to mouth, and we go to edit mesh, and we go to face, and just select everything, and then go to hide it. So Because that's really what you want to do. You don't really want the, the mouth for this character. And then, there we go. So you get, it's got a tongue. That's fine. Uh, so, so now if we, uh, if we back up, I think, all the way, this will look a lot better. Hi there, I'm a digital character created with Character Creator. And as you can see, I can act, talk, and have lively expressions. I look forward to being part of your upcoming animation works. Okay, so anyway, so that's uh, basically the whole thing. That's, that's how, to t how to bring in a Gen 9 figure, which is telling you you can't bring it in otherwise. Uh, and as always, I always tell everybody, if you have a figure or any problem that involves particularly bringing in Daz characters into Real Illusion products, uh, drop me a line, write me at mike at kellytown.com, uh, or you can write a message here on, the, on the, uh, the videos, and I'd be glad to help you and answer. So I guess that's it, and we will see you on the forums.